So put the Motovox bike together with a Tillerson 212 pull start from Go Power Sports. And the bike ran pretty good. It did around three seconds, or in the three second range from zero to 30, and around 42 miles an hour with a totally stock setup, except for a header pipe. So quite a few people have asked me what the stock internals are good for, the stock rod. And I think the general consensus is around 6,500 RPM or so. So this time around, I'm gonna throw the 24 millimeter flat slide and this billet flywheel on here, and then I'm gonna remove the governor wheel, and we'll see how much quicker or faster it is with those parts. And at the same time, I'll be able to spin it faster with the stock rod. And then next time around, I'll even add more parts to it, like cam and springs and all that stuff, and we'll see how much the stock rod can actually take. So I'll probably end up having to use a pulse pump with this tank now that I'm modifying the engine. Pull this governor arm off of here. All this linkage. Go my quarter inch by 20 bolt on the top of here. So sometimes when I don't have a bolt to fit this, to so self tap into this, I'll just use the press pin that I took out. I'll still add some RTV to it just to make sure. Lap this wheel in some uh, valve grinding compound. So I bolted the pump to this little plate here that I made up. So I think that should work. So I got all my lines ran. So now all I have to do is hook up this throttle. And I already have the tip on the end here, so that should work. And the cable's plenty long enough. Throw the spring on here, and hopefully we have enough sticking out. We'll see. See if that works. Okay, let me see if we got throttle here. All right, so that works. Cool. Pretty much the right length. Well, it's definitely going to work because I turned on the fuel and it's already running down, gravity feeding through the pump. So I got her all together and I had to swap out that metal pump for a plastic pump because it was leaking. But anyway, so it's all together and it looks pretty good. So I think I'll go test it out. Seems pretty snappy with this carb on here. Well, that was definitely faster. So 
So let's see what it does from 0 to 30. I think I have to beat a 3.9. 0 to 30. 24 millimeter flat slide and a flywheel on the Tillerson 212. Let's see what it did. A 3.87, so it was a little bit quicker. So I have to be 42 and some change for top speed. You can definitely feel the jettings off on this carb. I need to I need to go rejet that carb or put another uh, main in it. I really don't know what mains in this carb, so we'll have to go back. Let's see. We already beat the top speed though, 46.48. So it's definitely faster, but it, there's definitely more in it. So we already beat the time 0 to 30 in top speed, but it seems like it's cutting out a little bit. It seems like there's a little bit more left in it. So I'm going to pull that plug and then pull the jet and see what kind of main jet I have in there. All right, let's pull this thing. Let's see what we have here. Okay, oh, that tip looks really um, white. So maybe it's a little bit lean. We'll see. Let's pull this out of here. See what we have. Okay, so we have a 100 main, so that is definitely too small. And this thing already beat the times with a 100 main, so that's pretty good. So let me throw something else in there. Let's see if I got a 115 or 120. So I have a 115, which will get it in the ballpark, up here at 3,700 feet. That should be about right, give or take. Every one of these things is different, so find out. Man, a hundred jet, that must have been the stock jets. Oh, that seems better. It doesn't pop or anything, so it doesn't seem lean now. Let's do another zero to 30 real quick. Zero to 30, 115 main jet in the Tilly 212. Seems pretty good. Let's see what we have here. Uh, 410, still similar in, in 0 to 30, but we'll see what top speed is. So far we did 46.48, so we'll see if we can beat that. That seems about it. I think it's pretty much maxed out. Let's see. Okay, we gained a couple miles per hour, so 48.04. So it's definitely faster with this jet.
So the bike definitely got quite a bit faster with just a flywheel and a carb. So totally stock with a header pipe. They did 3.90, 0 to 30, the best time, and then 42.32. Then I added the flywheel and a 24 millimeter flat slide, and it dropped a little bit from 0 to 30, just a little bit quicker. 3.87 for the best time. And it gained quite a bit of top speed, 48.04. So we gained around six miles an hour with a flywheel and a carb, so that's pretty good. And the engine, according to the gear ratio calculator, was turning around 6,300 RPM. So next time around, I'll add a cam, and then we'll see what it does.